At school, we all learned about static electricity, this invisible buildup of electrical energy that manifests as a spark when discharged. I'm sure we've all walked across a nylon carpet or been on an escalator, only to have received a shock when our finger touched. Ooh, wow. The handrail. Sorry. <laughs> now, as a kid, I learned how to harness static electricity and then use it to perform a number of experiments that looked almost magical to my friends. I realised that a small amount of electrical charge could make certain objects behave in strange and unusual ways. You can almost feel the electricity in the air. Thank you. Much greater voltages can, of course, be created with machinery. But the greater the voltage, the greater the power and the greater the risk. This device creates and then delivers charges of up to 1.2 million volts onto anyone who touches it. Very much the same thing that happens in nature when massive invisible electrical discharges create lightning. And Nick Partland, could I ask you to join me on stage, please? <laughs> lightning, on that note. Stand right there for me, please, if you don't mind, on my left. Turn and face me, hold your right arm out, point your finger towards me, if that's okay. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to bring your finger as close as you can to the palm of my hand without touching. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, here we go. What was you that? feel that? Yes. No more shocks, no more shocks, I promise. Now, this device allows me to do so much more. Uh, on that table beside you, there's a light bulb. Grab that for me, please, if you don't mind. Hold it in your left hand by the base. Stand just in front of the table there like that, just in front of your face so we can all see it. Okay. Lovely. Then again, yeah. hold your finger out, point it towards me, please. Okay. Once more. Pop it down behind you. The judges, just to ensure stringent scientific test conditions for this next experiment, I'd like to ask you all to give your hands a quick sanitize for me, please. And then if you would all join me up on the stage. Thank you very much indeed. And if you could take a small step forward for me, please. I really enjoyed playing with static electricity, but the science inside me has wondered, could I uh, harness that excess electrical energy and then use it maybe to bring something about. Alicia, please, right over here. If you could stand on that green cross right there for me. Amanda, if you could stand right here for me, please, if you don't mind. Ashley, if you could stand just over here for me, please, if you don't mind. And David, if you could stand just over there for me, please, on that green cross. Lovely. Just as in nature, lightning is invisible until it physically sparks. I wondered, can I reverse the process and take a physical object and turn it back into invisible energy. Um, turn and face the centre of the, cent the circle. And turn and face me, please, if you don't mind. There's a jump there. Just grab that for me with your left hand, if you don't My mind. Left hand, your yeah. left hand. Lift it up. Make sure there's no water inside of it. Water nope. conducts. We absolutely don't want that. <laughs> then hold it just in the centre of the box for okay. me, just about there. Judges, could you hold your fingers out like this for me, please, if you don't mind? Lovely. Point your fingers for me. And Alicia, could you place your left hand for me on the orb? Just like this, lovely. Ashley, if you could place your right hand on the orb for me. Ashley, David, can you touch fingers now, please? Oh, wait. Should we David, Anne, can you touch fingers now, please? And Alicia, can you Amanda? Amanda, you ready? Yeah. Mm, here we go. Now, if my calculations are correct and we maintain contact, this jug should turn invisible. Ah? Huh? And you can pop that back in the Thank box you. and return to safety. Thank oh. you very much indeed. Uh, this happened in the lab too, and it got me thinking, not enough power. So that's why I invented this. If you'd like to follow me, please, judges, just over here, please. You'll see four mats. Uh, David, if you could stand on this mat here for me, please. Alicia, if you could stand right beside David. Amanda, this is your one, and Ashley, this is yours. Thank you very much indeed. Now, these mats are here for your safety, so please don't step off them. And uh, absolutely don't touch anything on stage. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to charge myself to a dangerously high level. 
Once charged, I'm going to cover myself with an anti-static blanket, which should contain the charge. I'm then going to try and complete this circuit. Charge up the pylons. Ready. Judges, please stay on your mat. You should be safe there. I'll complete the circuit in three, two, one!